what can wash away our sins there is nothing but the blood of jesus the blood that was shed on calvary cross the blood that brought salvation the blood of our lord jesus christ is the only blood that brought salvation unto us nothing 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 by the blood of jesus christ hallelujah what can wash it there is nothing oh yes oh yes what can wash away my sins nothing but the blood the blood of jesus what can Again, nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus, and all precious is the flood that makes me white as snow. I defend, I know. Nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. Oh, nothing. It's only one thing: the blood of Jesus. The blood yeah, that makes us whole. The blood that brought salvation. I'm talking about the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Why? Why then this? I see the blood, the blood of Jesus. Oh my God, I bless in this. Oh, nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. And oh, precious is a flood that makes me white as snow. Ah, the The blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus. There's nothing, it's only the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, yes. Precious is the flow. Precious is the flow. Oh, yes. Precious is the flow. I hope and peace. Nothing, nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. This is all my righteousness. Nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. Hey, no precious is the flood. Nothing is only one thing. Oh, the blood of our Lord Jesus. The shed blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, once again we thank you. We bless you. Lord, we give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. Of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Once again, again, I bring you greetings from God the Father and of the Son. Somebody that is listening to us, wherever you are listening to us, is a prayer that the Lord will bless you everywhere that you are listening to us. May the Lord open the heavens unto you. May every door of opportunity be open unto you in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord cause his word to come to pass as he has commanded in your life in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus 
somebody sang it. Say, oh precious is the flow, the precious blood of Jesus. May the Lord increase you. May he bless you. And may he open the heavens unto you in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Let's sing this song once I call the radio. Uh, have you been to Jesus for a clean, simple? And are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Oh, are your garment spotless? Are they white? As no, are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Oh, are your garment garments but less are they white what, uh, uh, are you in the blood of the Lord. once again we bring you greetings from god the father the son and of the holy spirit may the lord bless you jesus said we should seek the kingdom seek the kingdom of god and its righteousness and everything will be added unto you it's a command this is a word that came from our lord jesus christ when he got that his people and he was teaching them he says that we should not worry about anything he was telling them about best he said best of the field let me go to matthew chapter 6 matthew chapter 6 and i read from verse 19 jesus told us to lay our treasures he says lay up your treasures <laughs> not upon earth where moth and rust do corrupt and we should lay our treasures in heaven and was telling us that where your heart is <laughs> every place your heart is <laughs> there your treasures are your treasures are there your heart and he continued and said that therefore i say unto you take no thought for your life what you eat what you shall drink no yet for your body what you shall put on it's not life more than meat and body than remnant. Somebody read this and was thinking that if you are a Christian, <laughs> that means that you don't have to work. You don't have to <laughs> do anything. You don't have to worry. A child of God, listen. Jesus Christ was telling us that there are some things when you worry, you cannot add, you cannot change. One thing I thank God for that God has made me to understand. I don't give thought to worry. I don't, I don't, I don't take anything that comes to me, I push away. Because there are some things, you know, that there was a research that was made that many people that die on this earth, many people that die to things that they cannot do anything about. They cannot do anything about. Especially if something happened yesterday, Yes, you made a mistake. But because you cannot change it, you have to overcome it and move on. It's my prayer, my brother, my sister. Greetings to you. I'm a dying J. God bless you for always sharing for us. Hallelujah. He said, give no touch. There are many people that sit down and trouble for their life. And at the end, oh, will begin to contact or contract diseases and to destroy themselves he said therefore behold the fowls of the air for they sow not neither do they reap nor gather into beams yet your heavenly father feed them are you not much better than this which of you by thought can add a cubic to his stature and why take ye thoughts for revenant, consider the lilies of the field. <laughs> Jesus was even telling us that he, the lilies of the field, he said, consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. Yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not a rain like one of these. Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which is today and tomorrow is cast into the oven shall he not much more clothe you or ye faithless little faith and so there are many people walking on this earth without faith have faith in jesus christ the child of god somebody that says listening to me my prayer is that you have faith in jesus christ 
the lord that somebody is saying that he don't believe in jesus in our recent days we have many people that the enemy is using them to push the gospel away and so if you are not careful you say oh the, the gospel is not true the gospel is not true i gathered some young americans and i was asking them a question how do they think about the gospel <laughs> one of them was looking at my face and was laughing i said why he says that he thinks that the gospel is not true even if it's true there is no nothing in it i said i don't blame you i don't blame you because when you open every gadget you open your phone you open your television everything shows that there is no gospel i pray in the name of jesus my brother my sister child of god that you realize the bible says that we should teach our children the way they should grow and when they grow they will not depart teach them the word of god jesus christ was telling us how we should not think and worry about self and told us to seek the kingdom this is a command this is a charge for every christian to seek the kingdom and when you seek the kingdom there's one thing attached to it righteousness and everything will automatically follow you you don't need any any man or god will come and tell you you are i see you you are entered your village and this is the slice they'll come and wash your feet and do everything <laughs> very sad human beings one action i pray in the name of jesus that you will not fall victim of their lies you will not fall victim of their lies seek the kingdom walk in righteousness do the will of god and the heavens will be open unto you jesus is for you the bible says he came for his own and his own received him not but as many that received them he gave them power to become his children when you seek him he will be found by you the bible says say that seek him he'll be found by you again he said we should ask and it shall be given seek and you shall find whoever seek finds he's closer to you more than anything the only moral aspect of the kingdom of god is denying yourself you have to deny yourself and this is one of the difficulties for an entire generation because we are in a generation that hey, we have many things that will, will attract you and convince you that the gospel is not true but whether you like it or not whether you believe it let them preach that it is not true let everything tells you that it is not true it does not nullify the, the word of god it does not uh, 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 say that the word of god is true it is true it is real jesus is real my prayer is that you get more closer one day you come today i want to i want to talk about it in the kingdom of god if you are called in the kingdom of god god calls you to remain faithful you are called to be faithful the bible says faithful is he who has called and he will do it god calls us to grow and we must be faithful faithful in everything hallelujah go to africa go to my country ghana the country i love so much the man of god will look at your face and yesterday he'll be lying to you lying to you lying to you <laughs> and, the, and the sad aspect of it is that then the people will sit down and they will be clapping and jumping for the lies may god have mercy on us may god have mercy on us how every day tells you not every church you go you meet god okay, there are some churches jesus has never been there pray in the name of jesus let's turn our bible to mark mark chapter 4 there are a lot of parables that jesus stories that jesus took uh, to tell us how the kingdom of god is and for everyone that have been called uh, that you sit down study and learn and meditate upon the word of god allow yourself to be led by the holy spirit that you will meet the master's sneeze yesterday i told you uh, that when we go there he will separate the sheep from the goat there will be a separation there will be a point whereby uh, he will separate and there will be a, a point of evaluation in our works the thing that we are doing if i sit here and I preach and preach and if i leave over here and go and do my own thing hey automatically there is no there is no way that meaning that because i am preaching because i am a pastor because i i have titles i'll go to heaven who told you 
then let me let me announce to to you and to myself that jesus said not everybody that say no lord will enter into the kingdom of god hey you went there with me even when somebody called me pastor i don't like it not because i am not a pastor because i don't want you to put me to a place that i would think that i am absolutely i want to be an ordinary i want to be the least so that i can do the will of god and have favor before god have favor before god <laughs> hallelujah i pray in the name of jesus I, I remember yesterday i went to a place i went to a place and a, a woman something fell down and everybody I, I, I took my time gathered it and helped the lady she was going immediately she stood up and god says i said i think you're a pastor i was just smiling because our deeds will tell people second oh uh, sorry first corinthians 3 and the verse 2 he said we are pistols that people read people read our lives let people read you and people will tell you a man of god don't go and say i remember <laughs> a man of god came to do a program in virginia and we were helping uh, with my friend so far sorry and he did something then the man of god came and said don't you know i am a man of god if you do i'll curse you i said keep quiet i respect you but don't say that we know that you are a man of god <laughs> but don't put fear and say everybody is a man of god i pray in the name of jesus there are some of them don't follow anybody mark chapter 4 and the verse 28 he said, Jesus gave another parable. Let me start from verse 26, sorry. Verse 26. He said, and he said, so is the kingdom of God. And so Jesus was telling us that the kingdom of God will be like what he was going to say. Let me ask you a question. Are you sure you're a Christian? I am not talking about, uh, are you sure you go to church? Even the devil go to church. Which is go to church? Witches go to church, sorcerers go to church. There are evil, the alcoholic pastors. They start they start their church, and you see everybody will be trooping in. And not later than you realize it will be going down. I pray in the name of Jesus that you not fall victim. You not fall victim. Jesus Christ was telling us to be faithful, to be faithful in this. And when we are faithful, when he comes he say he says that the kingdom of god shall be like as a man that casts seed into the ground another version that is a, a man that's cut seed he went out and spread seed and and he says that and should and should sleep meaning that the man went to sleep and rise up a day and the seeds should spring and grow up and he know nothing about it the man went out scattered seed and he went to sleep and did not know anything about it but the seed started growing a child of god listen to me your daily life that is what jesus said even the best of the field <laughs> the, the, the lilies the bells the bells that goes out hey they don't read they don't sow but the, their master the lord take care of them let me tell you let me tell you to your ears god will take care of you if you you begin to walk in righteousness lazy christians will sit down and say they will not work the devil will fight you people will fight you but god will definitely bring a breakthrough for you love the lord jesus christ and do his will you don't need anyone to come and prophesy to you you don't need anyone to come and tell you you are going to break through I, I, you are going to get the whole world no i thank god for where i grew up we were taught the word of god we were taught the word of god and how to live a righteous life and some of us it has become a reward to us I pray in the name of jesus that you do it a man went out and sowed seed and he went to sleep by sleeping he woke up and the seed begins to grow it begins to grow by itself and so meaning that he, he did not know how 
the seed germinated whether it rots in the ground and it started growing it not know let me go to first corinthians chapter 3 first corinthians chapter 3 and i will tell you the same thing happens to the church and paul will happen to be there he said and i brethren could not speak unto you as spiritual but as unto carnal even unto babies in christ i fed you with milk and not with meat for that ye were not able to bear it neither yet are ye able for ye are yet carnal for whereas there is among you enviness strife division and yet not carnal walk as men paul went into the church of corinthians and found that there were many things going on in the church of the corinthians in the church of corinthians they were fighting they were backbiting there were many things unto them and then paul told them starting from verse 4 downwards paul told them let, let me read he said for while one said i am for paul and another one says i am for apollo are you not gonna who then is paul who then who is apollo but minister by whom you believe even as the lord gave to every man i have planted apollo have watered but it is god that gives increase our christian journey god was telling us that as we have come as christians we cannot help ourselves we cannot nobody can save his, his or herself nobody that is why the Bible says that we should work our own salvation with fear and trembling. When we come in, we have to be diligent and do the will of God by obeying the Holy Spirit. By obeying the Holy Spirit. If we do obey the Holy Spirit, so he says that neither he that planted anything, neither he that watered, but God that gives the increase. It is God that gives increase. God wants us to be faithful as he has called us. My brother, my sister, faithful is he who has called. Look into your life. What is drawing you from the Christendom? I remember when we were growing, my mother used to tell us, my mother used to tell us when you go to a place and you are doing something, you look to the right, you look to the left. Always lift up your eyes to the sky and know that God is there. <laughs> thank God for the womb that gave birth to me and I always thank God for my mother <laughs> there are women they will go out and they buy things that are worldly and they come and give it to their children no, not that woman not that woman that woman will wake up I remember this woman will wake up early in the morning she, she used to fry this uh, uh, puff, puff loaf we call it puff loaf puff loaf and yeah, at UST Junction, once we went there, the woman asked, are, you, are these your children? My mother said yes. And the woman was wondering, how can you give birth to so handsome children? He said, it's just by grace. It's just by grace. <laughs> when you look at my mother, my mother was nameless. My father was nameless. They don't, they don't have any name. But yes, but through the grace of God, the seed that they sow, God has made them to be remembered. <laughs> my mother will wake up early in the morning and we will be praying we did not understand but yet today I, under, I understand it very perfectly that she sow a seed in us this woman will sow a seed sow a seed in us taught us how to pray and so all the three boys we are all pastors all the three boys are pastors preaching the gospel everywhere the child of God listen to me sow a seed a good seed God depend on us. God depend on us to do the planting. He depend on us. He depend on us. He said a man went out to sow a seed. And he scattered the seed and went to sow. And so when we come into the kingdom of God and we go and minister the word of God, the Bible says when we lift him up, he will draw men unto himself. You go out, just go and preach. Hey, listen to me. I thank God for Papa Bright. Uh, recently about two days ago i saw i saw i saw a, 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 a short tape and i shared it about the testimony of a woman and it's about this he went out to preach the gospel 
Listen to me. He went out to preach the gospel and left for many years. From 2008 to, to this time, did not know that the seed that he sown have even grew and bear fruit a testimony. He did testimony. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. My brother, my sister, whatever you are doing, do it to the will of God. And do it. Be faithful. Be faithful to God. One day, you will testify it. At times, we preach the gospel. And we will, we will, we will stand up and go. I recently went to a shop and I met a lady. I met a that lady. She walked to me and said, are you the one that preach, or the, preach every morning? I said, yes. This woman said, I want to thank you. I just want to thank you. I said, why? He said, you have blessed my life. You have God, you have blessed my life. I was just looking, looking at the woman's face and tears were dropping. Told that we are not having any impact. But secretly, the message of the cross is having impact on people who have ears to hear. People who have ears to hear. My brother, my sister, let's work for God. They go out. When you go out, sow a seed. Matthew chapter, Matthew 28 and the verse 18. Jesus told us to go out. Verse 9, he said, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all that the things which I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you to the end of this world. Let people, let people see you and come to the Lord Jesus Christ. This woman has given birth to twins uh, through uh, the word of Papa Bright and said that uh, you, you, you are carrying twins in your womb. And the woman that went home, you see the sad aspect of it is that when God gives them testimony, many of them will hide it. They will hide it. I pray in the name of Jesus that your testimony will come out that people will know that our Jesus is alive. Our Jesus is alive. Our Jesus is alive. He is faithful. And he is coming. The Bible says he has his reward in his hand. Matthew 4, 26 through 20, 32. <laughs> Hear the word of God. He said, for the earth bring forth fruit of herself. First the blade. Then the ear. After that a full corn in the ear. But when the fruit is brought forth, immediately he put in the sack, because the harvest has come. And he said unto them, unto you shall we like in the kingdom of God, or with what comparison shall we compare it? It is like a grain of mustard seed, which when it is sown in the earth, is least than all the seeds that be in the earth. Jesus was saying that we are like a seed that's sown. When you sow a little seed, it will grow. That seed will grow. A child of God, somebody that is listening to me, remember that God depends on us. He depends on us to go out and tell people about the kingdom of God. There are some people they have come. Nobody can look to your life. No, your life does not even speak to anybody. Nobody can look to your life. I pray in the name of Jesus, there are some people there are some people, no matter what you do, they will, <laughs> they will not say good things about you. But those faithful ones, <laughs> there are people that they faithfully, they will definitely, they will definitely and talk about you. My prayer is that we will live a Christian life. We live a Christian life. Not everybody that have, been, <laughs> have come into the kingdom will preach. Hey, I will every day tells you, listen to me. When you go out and you meet a pastor who tells you, God has called me to inspire. God has called me <laughs> to be a financial preacher. Uh, has called me to prophesy. Or has, God has called me to declare, run from them. Run away from them. Run away from them. <laughs> My prayer is that you don't understand somebody who will insult. Because you have papa them. You have papa them. I think that you have your fathers. I pray in the name of Jesus. Go to a place that when you hear the word of God, you come to the Lord Jesus. Let me tell you a story that changed my life and changed my ministry forever. I read a story about a guy, a guy who 
He said that when he became a pastor, everybody will leave his or her girlfriend, her, her girlfriend or her boyfriend. He said that if he becomes a pastor, he will try as much as possible that everyone who have a boyfriend or a girlfriend will leave. And then that the story became so interesting for me to read. He said that he, they were, he was very young and he he met a young lady. Listen to me. Listen to me. He met a young lady. And this lady was so beautiful. And they, they begin to have a relationship. They were in college. It was very good. They enjoyed it. They said, the girl come and they sleep with, with, with him. And he also go there and they sleep together. I am talking about going out, letting your light shine. Be a light unto people. Let your children know the God that you serve. One day I know my children will stand before my casket after the Lord has called me. If the Lord don't come and say, Our Father, worship God. Our Father, worship God. And I know they will, they will say it because my children, my, my girls will not go out without calling me to pray for them. I always tell them, never do anything without Jesus. Never do anything without Jesus. I pray in the name of Jesus that will be example. This man said that the girl mother and the father got angry that this girl should leave this boy. <laughs> I always tell you, you cannot force somebody except the Holy Spirit. And I pray that our children will be led by the Holy Spirit. You, at times you teach them, but they will not take. Especially American kids, when you are talking to them, they'll be looking at your face. <laughs> you, you make them laugh. Somebody says that your skin make them laugh. Oh, you almost sorry. <laughs> Yourself make them laugh when they look at you, because they think. <laughs> oh, I, myself and my twin brother was trying to preach to young guys, some young guys in Dallas. One of them says that I told us when he look at the the young, uh, the elder, elderly people, and they come to you and tell them that you don't know anything. He said we are young, but we know more than they do. We know more because of the hating and everything. They know more. The girl, father, and the mother got angry. You are young and you are going to marry from a poor family. Leave this boy. Leave him. The boy said, no, no, no. The girl even got angry with the parents and came to stay with the boy. Young boys, they started life. They were going to church. They go to church every day, come back home and sleep together. They go to church and come back home and sleep together. And this man said they were having a program in their church. The same church that they go there every day. I pray that God will use some of us to bring people home to the Lord Jesus Christ. I will not preach anything apart from Jesus. I will not preach anything apart from Jesus. Because he's real. So he said that the first day the preacher came wearing their shoes. And he said, yes, this is the real man of God. The man of God. He preached. This man finished preaching. And they went home. They slept together. Did whatever they would do. And came back home again. The next day they went. There was another preacher. <laughs> this man came wearing their suit. With their shoes. They say that this, the shoe of the preacher can even give. You can look at your face. This man came and they went back home and slept. The third day. <laughs> Where he sat, the preacher man was sitting there. He could not identify the preacher man. When this man was mounting the puppet, he said, Ah, is this the preacher man? Because you look at how he is and the things that he was wearing. Hey, it is not what you look, but what is inside. He said, This man took the, the, the mic and immediately started singing something in the inside. <laughs> Very precious than gold, than silver. And Jesus in the inside. And all of a sudden, a, a wind started blowing in the church sanctuary. The Holy Spirit filled the church. And everybody was crying. He said, even the, the church pastor and the wife, they, they were all, the, the, the church mother was crying and fell down. The, this man has not started preaching, but the Holy Ghost was so strong. And the girl, his girlfriend, was also caught. 
And this girl fell down and was crying, crying, not knowing she has encountered Jesus. That is why I tell you every day, if you don't encounter Christ in this end time, if you don't take care, you will not go to heaven. It's not preaching the gospel. It is not going to church. It's not going to church. It is living a life and worshiping God. It is good to go to church. <laughs> but uh, not our churches cannot save us. It's Christ that brings salvation. Encountering the Lord Jesus Christ. Said so the girlfriend fell down. And this girl was crying. But all that he did was that he was looking at the people's face. And he wondered why people. <laughs> I, in this atmosphere of the Holy Spirit, he was standing there. He said, I was standing, I was looking. While people were, 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 had encountered the Lord Jesus Christ. Had encountered the Lord Jesus Christ. And, uh, and, he, and so he could not. After the service, the girl was still in trance. And so he took the girlfriend and hired a taxi and called the taxi. And they took the girlfriend to the house and laid the girl on the bed. The girl could not open her eyes. And so immediately he decided to go and sleep with the girl. The girl would push him away. So he did that three times. The girl would push him away. And so the next morning, the girl woke up and said that, did you see Jesus in the church? A child of God, listen, people have encountered Jesus. Our Jesus is real. But you go around and people will tell you, or both four will tell you, I have not seen Jesus. He needs salvation. Or both four is not a man of God. They are not men of God. Tell them. They can, they can say whatever. But they themselves may know. Hey, they know themselves. I pray in the name of Jesus. You sit under them and clap and clap and clap and clap you sit under them and listen to them and be happy i pray in the name of jesus nowadays he's, he's making sense a little bit i pray in the name of jesus and this guy will push him away and ask him did you see jesus jesus was in the church he was there he was closer to me not everybody he could not go to he went to few people and the boy, my boy said, I did not see Jesus in the church. The girl stood up that morning and said that I want us to end the relationship. He said, no, 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 no. I love you. He said, no, 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 no. I cannot. If I do that, I'll go to hell. He said, from that day, he went to pastor. He went to everybody. The girls said, no. Hey, the girl, parents told the girl to stop. The girl did not stop until she encountered Christ. Until he encountered Christ. And this man said that anywhere, if he become a pastor, he also preach that people, their friends will leave him. A child of God, we have a duty to do. We have something to preach to the world. Whilst people are merchandising the gospel, Jesus went to the church. He went to the synagogue and they were doing buying and selling. God does the growing. God depends on us. He depends on us. He depends on us to go out. And bring it. God uses us to help the new ones to grow. I pray in the name of Jesus, my brother, my sister. Let me go. Matthew chapter 13. Matthew th chapter 13. Matthew 13. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Matthew. His, uh, let's hear the word of God. Matthew. He said that. Sorry. Matthew chapter 6. Let me go to Matthew 6, the scripture that I was looking for. Right there. Matthew says, he says that, uh, sorry, Matthew 5, the verse 13. He said, ye are the salt of the earth. Matthew 5, the verse 13. He said, you are the salt of this earth. You are the salt of this earth. My prayer is that God help me, not, not somebody who look to my life and go to hell. Never, never. And I thank God. At times I sit down and assess my life. That God help me not to lead anybody. Help me to lead people to heaven. Somebody who says it's not true. Oh Jesus, it's not true. Who told you? You sit down and give excuses. You sit down and give excuses. Go and read as of the Apostle chapter 7. Paul was standing there when they were stoning Stephen. He think that there was no Christ until he encountered the Lord Jesus. Have you encountered Jesus? Have you encountered Jesus until... Clifford's daughter encountered Jesus. He, would, he did not come out and tell people to, to begin to share it. some of the things he started teaching. But in him, if he said it, and everybody was insulting them. 
People don't insult them. We are the light of this world. It's not how eloquent we are. It's not how, how we can preach. A woman came to me and told me, on some form, <laughs> you, are, you preach good, but the only problem you have is that you don't go to church on Saturday. I told him to go and show me it in the Bible. Where you go to church Saturday, you go to heaven. The child of God listen to me. I thank God for the church you go. Whether you go to church on Saturday or Sunday, I always tell my congregation, I will tell them and I continue to tell my, the, my congregants, the people who come to my church, I say never feel guilty when you have to work on Sunday. If any pastor tells you you go to work on Sunday, you go to hell, he's a lie. Tell him he will go to hell. It is not the day you go to church. It is how you know Christ. Because if you are a nurse, you see in America and in Europe, if you are a nurse, they, they work, their shift rotates. And if you have to go to work on Sunday, you said that because you have to go to church lies. There is no sin in that. Feel happy to work. Because if you don't have work, you'll be praying to God, God give me work. God give me work. And you have work and then you're making excuses. I pray in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, you are the salt of this earth. But if the salt have not, have lost its server, wherewith shall we be salt? It is therefore good for nothing, but be cast out and be trodden under the feet. Ye are the light. A city that is set on a hill can never be hidden. Neither do men light candle and put it under the brochure. But as a candle, it gives light into all that are in the house. Let your light shine before men that you may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Glorify your Father in heaven. May the Lord bless you. And may the Lord increase you. May the Lord open every door unto you. Remember, God is telling us to go out and, and make disciples. He said, a man went out and scattered seeds. And he went to sleep and did not know. He woke up and it started growing. Jesus Christ was telling us, this is how the kingdom of God is. You cannot do it by yourself. You cannot. Everything in the kingdom of God is through the grace of God, through the strength of God. Let me go to Zachariah and I will end here. I want us to pray. When you read Zachariah, the Bible says that that Zerubbabel, Zerubbabel wanted to build after, after Zerubbabel led the first, uh, uh, the first people that came from exile, the first exile of, Je uh, of the Jews. Zerubbabel was the leader. He came and everything, the temple of God, everything was destroyed. He wanted to build the temple, but he did everything he could not. In this life without Jesus, Jesus said it in John 14 verse 5, verse 5. He says that abide in me and my words abide in you. If uh, As long as a, a, a brand cannot bear fruit by itself, so you can do nothing apart from me. You cannot do anything. Somebody will just laugh. <laughs> Why do I need Jesus? Because I don't wake up uh, uh, for Jesus to give me strength. One day you, that life will be taken away from you. One day that life will be taken away from you. Then you realize that you need Jesus more than ever. Zerubbabel wanted to build a temple. He did everything he could not. Then God visited Zerubbabel. If you have time, read Zechariah 1. Zechariah 4 verse 1 through 10. Or you can read all through 14. The angel of the Lord talked to him and came and woke me up as a man that would wake out of his sleep. And he said unto me, What seest thou? I said, I look and behold, there was a candlestick. And the, and the Lord showed him. Verse 6. He says, and he answered and said unto me, This is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel, say not by might, not by power, but by the Spirit, say yes, the Lord. Allow yourself to be led by the Holy Spirit. And when you do that, everything that you are doing, you will fulfill it. May the Lord bless you. I mean, let me lead somebody to the Lord. Say, Lord Jesus, today I, I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. The Lord says, if anybody be in you, he's a new creature. 
all things have passed and everything has become new. As I've accepted you, may you, your word fill me. That I will win souls. I'll go out and spread the gospel until you come. Or call me from this earth. In Jesus' name. I may find a church. There are good churches. There are good churches. Go to a church whereby <laughs> you, they will tell you to seek Jesus. Don't go to a church whereby they, they, will, they will tell you they are inspiring you. They look at your face and tell that I entered your village. And I went to your village. Uh, do you all know you? He said, no. Uh, I, I was in the village. They have asked most of them before they come and prophesy. They have gathered information about you. Some of them even have familiar spirits. I know. I know them. I've worked with many of the prophets. I know them. Uh, they are all false. They are not of God. They are lies. See Jesus. See Jesus. When you say that, somebody will be angry. You call them Papa. <laughs> you Papa them <laughs> and go to hell. <laughs> go to where you, you you meet Jesus Christ. Uh, every day tell you there are some churches, one man churches that are very good because some of the pastors are doing the will of God. Don't go to a pastor who will tell you the color of your underwear and tell you <laughs> the color of the number, your car number. <laughs> what that has to do with what God wants to do with your life. God don't have to prove to you that he's, uh, he's this before he tells you. God don't need it. Hallelujah. Go to those, go to some a place whereby that uh, you hear the word of God. And so if you go there, they will tell you your car number, they will tell you this is lies, it's lies. They are sorcerers. They are not prophets, they are sorcerers. They are evil. And somebody will get angry because you look at how eloquent, how they see and how they do. And you believe in them. You follow them. You follow them and go to hell. I pray in the name of Jesus. I was telling a woman, you sit in your presby, you sit in your martyrs, you sit in your assemblies of God Pentecost. When you see them, you'll be running after them. They are evil. But no wonder. No wonder. When I was growing, you know, even go to a uh, martyrs church and see anointing or uh, you know, go to presby and see anointing, assemblies of God and see anointing. Nowadays, they are learning from these charismatic preachers. They are learning from them. They are learning from them because they have seen that all their members are going there. No, 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 no. I pray in the name of Jesus. Go to a place, a church where you, you encounter Jesus. You hear the message of the cross and come to Jesus Christ. Don't follow them. They are evil. Amen. Let's begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to thank God. Begin to thank God. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you. We are not here to criticize anyone. We are here to preach the truth to people. We know that not everybody will listen to the truth. But the Bible says they have ears. Let them hear what the Spirit says. Seek Jesus. Go to a place that you hear the message of the cross <laughs> and begin to live a life for the Lord Jesus. That is the word. They have made people to doubt the gospel. Begin to thank God. Say, Lord, I thank you. Open your mouth and say, Lord Jesus, I thank you. Begin to thank God for your life. We are thanking God. Bless the name of our uh, bless the Lord. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for my life. I thank you for seeing another day. I thank you. I thank you. Just thank the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Somebody thank the Lord with us. Lord, I thank you. I give you glory. I give you. I honor you, Jesus. Somebody bless the name of the Lord. And thank God for your children. Thank God for your mother. Thank God for your father. Thank God. Bless the name of the Lord. And say, Lord, I thank you. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Again, we want to pray. I want to pray with you. We are praying. All you need to do is pray that God help me to know you. There is different between going to church, different between preaching the gospel, different between holding the Bible and knowing the Lord Jesus Christ. It's different. It's different. Now, every day tells you preaching the gospel. I preach the gospel does not make me a Christian. But doing the will of God. The question I ask myself many times, how do God sees me? The reason why, the difference between uh, David and Saul was that David had a remorseful heart. And God did so. <laughs> and when Saul did evil, Saul did not repent. But David will run to God. 
and through David, we have he wrote Psalm 51. Create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence. And we pray that somebody will, we are praying. I want to pray with you. Your prayer and my prayer that God help us to know you. I want to know God every day, every moment. I want to know him. People say me, no, no, no. I want to know him. Open your mouth and say, Lord, help me to let's pray. Pray for yourself. Pray for your children. You can pray for your husband. Pray for your wife. Pray for your children. Help my children to know you. Well, the Bible says if you gain the whole world, you gain the whole world that loses your life. Loses your life. I remember when we came to America, and we had a man, he saw rents in peace. This man said that he wants his children to be Americanized. And so he don't want them to... to, to to even lend uh, our, our language, do uh, anything. They want to, them to be Americanized. And unfortunately, all the children have missed the mark. Not the Americanized. Because some of the Americans are on drugs. Their life have been destroyed. I pray in the name of Jesus that you will not lead them to be Americanized or Europeanized. But lead them to the Lord Jesus Christ. Lead them to the Lord Jesus Christ. There are people they don't want even their children to hear the word of God. <laughs> you think that you are, you, somebody will say, you think that you are doing me. What you saw here, man? You think <laughs> you sow in the seed and you reap it. Open your mouth and say, Lord, I want to know you. I pray for my wife. I pray for my husband. I pray for my children. I pray that my children will secretly encounter you on their bed, on their way of driving, everywhere. I pray in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that we will know you. We want to know you. We want to know you. We want to know you. In the name of Jesus. Somebody open your mouth and pray with us. We want to know the Lord Jesus Christ. It's all about Jesus' life. With Jesus it's a happy life hey jesus said my peace i give not as the world give meaning that when you come to jesus and there is a certain kind heavenly peace that he gives even in the midst of pain in the midst of trouble within you you feel the presence of god that is why the bible says, with flattery they will corrupt people but they don't know their god just pray that god i want to know you i want to live a righteous life i want to do your will i want to do it in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Rika da Bojanda da Branda Zende, Heba Panda da Branda Zukorono, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, Amen. Just surrender your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I want us to pray this prayer every day. We can we'll pray a warfare prayer, a warfare a fair prayer, because many people are losing their life, not because they did something wrong. <laughs> human beings there are people walking like human beings but if the lord open your eyes i thank god that god has made me to know god has made me to know let me tell you a story i went to a job site and i was giving his get rid to people uh, to the guys and one of them will not look at my face and come this guy will not come to me and i was asking myself why then the spirit of God was communicating that that guy, I'm going to stand him. He said, I hate you. This guy told me before my face, he said, I hate you. I said, What have I done? He went away. Then one of them, them came to tell me that the, the guy told him that I have a spirit in me, it's so strong. I have a spirit in me, that spirit is so strong. And so he hated me. I pray in the name of Jesus, my brother, my sister. There are people walking uh, many people's life. Uh, there are women that are failing in this life. I would every day tell not every single woman led a bad life. There are some homes people, somebody destroyed it. There are some life people destroy, they intentionally will destroy you. When they are destroyed, they are happy. I want to pray with you. Everyone. Every demonic altar that have targeted your life wants you to fail in this life. There are the, most people, the family will come. The people around. I was listening to a, a Hispanic man who became a Christian. I've forgotten his name in New York. He said he was a witch until he was delivered. He will go around and destroy the young boy's life. He will go around and destroy. They go around and destroy. And instead of praying for your children, you are there. You want to give them the whole world. If grace be upon you, if grace be upon you, go back home. 
when we were growing, we had handsome boys and beautiful girls that, that you see success, success over their head. But most of them failed, not because they were stupid, but because somebody would destroy their life. Somebody, somebody will destroy you. I pray in the name of Jesus, some of us, uh, that we had parents that had, did not have money, but they knew God. They knew God. We are praying in the name of Jesus that whoever is the trouble of your life, Hey, the, whoever is the trouble, let the Holy Ghost fire. Hey, hey, somebody has time to think about you. Whilst you are educating yourself, somebody is sitting down and, and planning. We have a, a friend over here. Whilst we came to America and we were educating, going through university, he said he will not go. And he was smiling. You know the reason why? He knows that when, well, no matter what education you have in America, he said that you cannot use it to work. So long as you are his friend, you go out and have all the degrees. You and if you don't take care, there are people who have finished all the university. I told you another day, the other day, a lady told a lady said she had PhD in, in America. He said, I am doing everything in life except that my, my education, the certificate I have, I cannot use to work. With all this education, masters, degrees, and everything. <laughs> a PhD, he's still he's still doing buying and selling and doing things because he cannot work. Uh, human beings, there are some human beings. They work in a human flesh, but they are very wicked. We pray in the name of Jesus that everyone that sit down and fight against your life, those who are using food, those who are using evil witchcraft spirit against your life, let the fire of Jehovah locate them. Let the terror say, Lord Jesus, say it. Say it in the name of Jesus. Say it in the blood of Jesus. Everyone that is the cause, the problem of my trouble, whoever is the trouble of my life, whether in my mother's village, my father's village, my spouse, my spouse's village, hometown, whether it's a friend, a brother, let the Holy Ghost fire locate them. Let the tender of God locate them. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. We are praying. Prayer works. Prayer works. Psalm 40 verse 1. David said, I, I prayed, I cried unto the Lord. He answered me. He lifted me from a marry clay and established me upon a rock. He Hannah prayed and the Lord remembered him. Daniel prayed and the Lord closed at the mouth of the lion. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego prayed and they walked in fire. Esther prayed and uh, <laughs> Haman died on his gallow. You also pray. Pray the Father, whoever is the Haman of my life, whoever is the troubler of my life, whoever is following my life, whoever wants me to fail, my marriage to fail, my children to fail, my husband to fail, my daughter to fail, my wife to fail, let fire look at them. Let the tender of God pray. The Bible says Paul and Silas prayed, and God answered them with earthquake. Let the heavenly earthquake locate that evil woman, that evil man, that those who have gathered concern in your life. They want you to fail. They want that marriage to fail. They want the home to collapse. They want you to walk single. I pray in the name of Jesus. I pray in the blood. My friends say, Lord, I pray. I pray into my family. I pray into them. I pray. Let fire locate them. Somebody call the name of Jesus. Whoever is the troubler of your life, they chanting, they bewitching, they sit down and don't want you to climb. Tender fire them. May the Holy Ghost crush them. In the name of Jesus, in the name, pray with us. We are praying in the name of Jesus. In the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus. Pray and say, Lord, I pray. I command fire, fire, fire. Pray the fire of God over them in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus, in the name 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 of Jesus, somebody pray. We are praying the Holy Ghost, pray the Holy Spirit, let the Holy Ghost enter every place, every wicked spirit, every wicked spirit against your life, against your family's life against your handiwork in the name of Jesus in Jesus name I want you to pray with me yesterday I was talking to my brother that there are people who are failing there are families some families you know so long as you come to the family you fail 
You go to, <laughs> I always use my country. There are families, the people are growing poor. <laughs> <laughs> human beings <laughs> oh my god <laughs> if, you, if god opens your eyes to see <laughs> at times i walk there are young men that are failing you go to the family you see that everybody is failing in that family everybody is failing in that family and not because they are stupid <laughs> somebody will say that they are lazy who told you they are lazy <laughs> if somebody said that if they are constructing a road and it has not hit your your your, your building or your you say that the, the contractors are good the surveyors are good if it is not you <laughs> people who say i pray in the name of jesus that you know people men and women are failing because of demons witches a young girl i told you my mother sister forced my mother forced my mother for for to accept a young girl into our home a young girl and we were taking care of this girl almost destroyed the home she almost destroyed the home until god opened my eyes to see until god opened my eyes to see she I, they are very wicked though. you are feeding them but and so you go to africa most people are failing Come to my home, come to Ghana. Then you say this boy is lady, lazy. This woman is lazy. Who told you? I pray in the name of Jesus. Until you know. We are praying. You are praying. Every spirit, every demon, wherever your life has been hidden, there are some people. Your life is in demonic box, in the demonic cage. Some hand is over your life, and you cannot. Hey, you, I have, I have a man, a father in America, in Maryland. He has all the ideas, he has all the knowledge in the world, but this man has implemented everything. He's, he's not to success. <laughs> At times I say, you don't follow us to pray, and then you'll be laughing. He said, and the, the sad thing is that he went to follow Timmy Joshua, <laughs> the wrong place. We are praying in the name of Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus, every altar, demonic altar, that my life has been placed on, my children, my handiwork, my marriage, my health, there are people, their health is on demonic altar, demonic cage, demonic prison, demonic warehouse. Let the Holy Ghost deliver you. The Bible says, upon my Zion, there shall be deliverance and holiness. And the children of God will possess their possession until the Lord Jesus comes in. You go to the place we go around, around tech, around. You see the people, our classmates, some of them, the boys are failing, they're failing life. And you sit down, you say that they, they were lazy, they did not have vision. Who told you? Who told you they did not have vision? They were energetic men, they were men with the boys with sense and knowledge. But somebody will destroy you. We pray in the name, open your mouth and begin to pray. Pray the Lord Jesus, uh, every uh, that my life has been hidden, everyone that is holding my life, I pray in the name of Jesus, in the name of the blood. The Bible said, if I came in by the blood, the blood of the Lamb, it is the blood of Jesus. Pray and use the blood. We are using the blood. We are using the blood. Use the blood to deliver yourself from the hands. Use the blood. Call your and pray the blood say lord deliver me from that altar deliver me from that demonic altar witchcraft altar hey, your, your womb is on that altar and they, every day they'll be circling around they'll be circling you are not a, a barren woman but uh, it is not coming I, I am praying for i am praying for one woman i am praying for that woman this woman have been married for many years uh, and that child is not coming no knowing her own father her own father I, I pray in the name of Jesus. When you tell them, they will fight with you. When you tell them, they will fight you. Her own father is the cause of her womb. Her own father. One woman, I told her, I told her, I told her that Lord opened my eyes. Is, <laughs> that, that your problem is from your mother. Your problem is from your mother. This this woman was looking at my face. She told, she told I said, no, no, your mother, <laughs> tell your mother to just <laughs> leave you too. To, 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 to give birth. She went and asked mother, please, everything I've done, you just help me to give birth. 
the mother gave her a blessing this woman started giving birth i pray in the name of jesus so stop your mouth and begin to pray every altar demonic altar we pray in the name of jesus we pray in the name it is a spirit it is not that person it is a spirit a spirit that works to a human being when that spirit they don't have remorse and that spirit don't have remorse and don't have pity don't have compassion it is a wicked spirit that witchcraft spirit we pray you are not praying against that human being you pray against that spirit that has possessed that human being pray in the name of jesus just open your mouth and say lord i cancel every demonic order every order that my life my destiny my marriage my children i pray in the name of jesus in the name of your mouth and pray pray the lord deliver me deliver my children deliver my life deliver me in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in jesus name we're going to pray listen to me if when we came to america myself and my twin brother we have suffered a lot but a woman met us and said hey Atta, you guys are lucky i say why he says your mother's prayer have saved you yesterday my brother said that that woman said our mother's prayer we ourselves also pray we pray me i pray like something <laughs> last night last night from 11 p.m to 1 a.m whilst people were sleeping and snoring i was on my knees praying <laughs> i was on my knees praying calling heaven and i have to wake up 4 30 to come on the radio and from here i'm going to work and if the lord bless me you said <laughs> it's hard work it's determination determination we are praying in the name of jesus christ i want to pray with you that everything that is holding your life everything that is holding god said i have a thought for you not evil but to give you a future and a hope the devil would easily give to people when you sell your soul to the devil he will give it to you but you fight with somebody that has a blessing woman you don't need to feel in this life man you don't need to feel with God, all things are possible. I want to pray with you. Say, Lord Jesus, everything that belongs to me, that is in the camp of the enemy, <laughs> let it be released right now unto me in the name of Jesus. Pray. Just open your mouth and pray. Call the name of Jesus. Just call the name of Jesus. Just call the name of Jesus. And let the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. I want to end here because I have to be at work have to be at work uh, today i have to be a day early i know by it's almost a 6 51 over here i have to be at work by seven and everybody is waiting for me and so we will end here and continue tomorrow may the lord bless you remember jesus as well and thank you all please share for us share that people we want to win souls we will all that we want to lead somebody to jesus christ and so we, well, let's let's do it together in Jesus' name, God bless you all. Bye.